to ABMC International e-learning uh, portal supported by the Global Academy of Finance Management and the Global Events Management for the Learning Management System. This is your online page. We just want to give a simple demonstration on how to access and self-enroll yourself um, when you've been given that alternative. So the first thing you'll do is just to log in um, and be able to see the dashboard, your profile, your grades, your messages, preferences, and log out. Again, you'll also get a guided tutorial uh, chat which will appear on your page to show you the different segments of the course. So for these purposes, I'll just want to show you dashboard, how it looks like. Uh, it being a new account, um, you'll definitely receive again another step-by-step -step guide tutorial uh, which shows you different aspects about the account and it helps you to learn more uh, how to access the program. So I'll end the tour. However, it will explain to you what are the di different segments over here. So here you'll access all the recently enrolled courses because it's a new account and I'm doing self-enrollment. There is no account which has been enrolled. Um, it will show me private files which have already been uploaded for me. Um, it will show the timelines which have been set for me. I'm able to see some of the members who are online from other programs. Um, if uh, I am online at that particular time, I'm also able to see all the courses that have been enrolled to me. Those have completed those have not completed all be here uh, however this tab here will be for the recently enrolled programs so with that i will just need to go back to home and keep home page and go and select the program that i've been asked to self-enroll myself so i'll scroll down it's easily so i can check here if it's there i'm looking for time management if it's not there i'll check on the main segment here if it's not there remember we have over 150 courses i'll go down to search courses and i'll create a right time uh, management and then click go should be able to see it somewhere so i have several programs showing up with the word management and then uh, i should be able to see it. there it is there is time management and as you can see i've already landed to the page now it will be easy for me to look at uh, what enrollment options are there so for this particular company i've been given the enrollment key i'll not tell you which it is it's easier so that uh, you're able to also follow up when you're given the same enrollment instructions so i'll put the enrollment key which is sent to me on email um, for these purposes good um i'll be logged into the page so it will be easy for me to now follow up to the program i can use the guide tutorial so i'll end the tour it will also show you the navigation on the common areas however for purposes of this class i'll just show you into details so announcements is where we put all the announcements in relation to this particular program so you'll always find them arranged over there for your guide in terms of how this program is guided you can either use the left hand tab or the side tab here the side tab is very easy if there are content here we definitely have seen it because there is nothing i'll just click next step uh, which should take me to the the ABMC e-learning management solution on boarding tutorial. So this is a brief tutorial uh, similarly to this particular video on how to access the e-learning uh, portal. And then I can watch it uh, if I'm comfortable I just continue directly to the next step which is e-learning tutorial management. So on time management sorry. So with that I'll just go into details and read more about the program, the objectives and then click on enter. However before I click on enter there is a brief description here the number of attempts allowed here they've given me one number of attempts you've made so far i've not made any it's zero grading method it will be the highest meaning whatever i score highest if i'm to do two attempts that was what will be captured however because the attempt is one that will be the final attempt so if there are any reports after completion they will be showing them here so i'll go to normal and not use preview i'll just go to normal and click enter so once i click enter i'll be able to see the full program uh, displayed on the page uh, for purposes of this demonstration there is the menu tab or you can click start and go step by step the menu gives you a breakdown of how the program is broken down there is the introduction modules which is usually the first module and then all the modules go up to module 12 however each of these modules from module 2 to 12 uh, they're guided into three segments there is the main core about
about the program a good example will be module two there will be setting smart goals and then there will be three uh, p's then there will be the smart way prioritizing your goal visualization that it's purely the full tutorial about module two then immediately i finish that there is a case study to sum up what we've already learned and then after the case study there is an assessment so for purposes of demonstration i'll just go to visualization which is the last step visualization uh, Emotionalizing and visualizing your goal will so help you create the desire to materialize it into the tutorial your is guided. One of the best visualization tools is a vision board. So and it requires you to have a notebook and a pen to take notes so that you're able to capture everything as you write and you're able to master each and every area of development and training that is currently ongoing. So once I click and finish, Margaret and Rachel were reviewing there will be a case study which will be displayed and this case study is purely capturing every aspect aspect of what you've learned and also just to give demonstration on physical on, on live case scenario of what you've learned after the case study you will definitely be jumped to the question and answer and this is usually an assessment to capture if you've captured uh, what you've learned on that particular module 2 you're not able to go to module 3 until you complete module Two. So uh, that's it for now in terms of completion. After you finished your completion, it will be easy now for you to be able to access your certificate as the last final step. So you click my certificate, it will open up if you've already completed. For these particular purposes, it will say complete the course to unlock your certificate. And there are some sets. Uh, which have been set in terms of KPIs to ensure that you're able to complete the program and access your certificate. With those few remarks, enjoy and happy learning. Bye-bye.